Did you know these five things about schistosomiasis? 1. Schistosomiasis is known by many names including snail fever and bilharzia. The infection is caused by small parasitic flatworms or flukes that are released into water by freshwater snails. Schistosomiasis affects mostly poor and rural communities, particularly agricultural and fishing populations. Poor hygiene and contact with snail infested water makes children particularly vulnerable to infection. 2. Once inside the human body, female worms can release up to 3,500 eggs a day into the bloodstream. If a person has contact with snail infested water and is infected with larvae, the larvae develop into adult worms. The eggs delay can become trapped in the body's tissues. Chronic infection can cause rashes, pain, and long-term problems with the digestive, urinary, respiratory, and nervous system. Without treatment, schistosomiasis can cause permanent organ damage, organ failure, and even death. In children, the disease also causes anemia and stunted growth and can prevent them going to school affecting their education. 3. The parasites have been discovered in mummies, suggesting that the disease has been infecting humans for thousands of years. Nubia was a former African kingdom in what is now Northern Sudan, which existed from about 250 AD to 1400 AD. Desiccated skin and brain samples from 23 mummies recovered from Sudanese Nubia found that as many as 15 of them had schistosomiasis. 4. Ancient Egyptian medical papyri reported symptoms that resembled schistosomiasis. The RAR disease, a possible ancient name for schistosomiasis, is mentioned in several Egyptian medical papyri from as early as 1500 BC, suggesting it was a common condition. It's not completely certain whether the RAR disease was schistosomiasis but the ancient Egyptians were encouraged to avoid polluted water to reduce the chances of infection. Schistosomiasis, also known as Bihazia, was officially identified in the 1850s by Theodor Bihaz, a German parasitologist working in Egypt. 5. Communities are now fighting back against schistosomiasis, and within our lifetime, it should be possible to eliminate the disease. Although this disease has been present in society for thousands of years, things are improving. Today, treatments are available, and initiatives such as water, hygiene, and sanitation, known as WASH, are helping to protect people from schistosomiasis, enabling children to stay in school and people to regain control of their lives. Thanks to the support of communities, governments, donors, and the network of partners, more people than ever are receiving treatment and care for schistosomiasis. But there is still work to be done. More funding and support is needed to reach everyone at risk and to rid the world of this painful disease. Find out more www.sitesavers.org ncds. <laughs>